Hey guys, our final step before going into Supernatural Season 4. This is the video that I have been waiting to talk about. It's going to be a bit of a long one, but I hope you guys stick through it because these are, in my opinion, the top five best episodes of Supernatural Season 3. If you guys watch me through on this entire journey, you'll know that I like a lot of them. If you haven't, feel free to go back and watch the reviews I've done for this season. I do have a playlist. It's a great season. It's one of my favorite ones, despite the adversity that it went through, despite the challenges that they had to go through, and the fact that it was a shorter season, I still feel that it's one of the most concise, and it is one of the most entertaining. So as these lists always go, it goes from five to one, with one being the most best episode, in my opinion, of the season as well as we have a lot of honorable mentions starting off with fresh blood the conclusion of the gordon walker character sterling k brown despite only being in three to four episodes of this entire show has still stood out as being one of the best villains that the show has ever had and he had a fantastic send-off this episode is near on perfect except for two problems one of which being gordon's magical cell phone and the absolutely whiny overacting vampire in this episode. Aside from that, it has fantastic horror, it has some fantastic vampire moments. Some of the moments in this episode I'll never forget, like when Gordon Falcon punches his friend through the chest, or when Sam full on rips his head off with razor wire. Still one of the best moments in the entire show, even though it kind of doesn't really make sense of how he did it. Next on the honorable mention list is Dream a Little Dream of Me. This episode is actually pretty cool for being a Nightmare on Elm Street episode in terms of referencing everything about that film franchise except for the key character. It's subtle, it's not on the nose, it's actually quite reminiscent to that of Wes Craven's work with New Nightmare. It has a lot of elements from the Nightmare series. It also incorporates a little bit of reverses on the system itself. Instead of struggling to try and stay awake, they actually just decide to go to sleep to take on the guy himself, which is a cool interpretation. Also seeing Bobby in a different light, especially in a terrified state, was really cool to see. The Jeremy villain guy kind of sucked. One time I'm in an episode and I'm a wiener. But otherwise, it's still a really great episode. And the final honorable mention is No Rest for the Wicked, the season finale of the show. It's a great season finale, don't get me wrong. It's still very enjoyable. But that also should give you kind of an idea of the pedigree of what are the best episodes of this season. No Rest for the Wicked has a fantastic latter half. Once Dean gets pulled over by the cop, it's all guns blazing all the way to the end. It has fantastic tension. The ending is superb, with Dean getting ripped apart, Sam somehow surviving L Lilith, and then Dean in the chains screaming out for Sam's name. However, the episode's a little bit rough at the beginning, mainly with the back and forth dialogue between Ruby, Sam, and Dean, because it's just kind of going in a circle. It's something that we've already reflected on, as well as you can just see Kripke's very basic writing in the beginning of the episode. It still has fantastic moments, don't get me wrong. It's just a little bit lacking, mainly with how slow it is to start. But those are the honorable mentions. Now we're gonna get into the top five. Starting with number five being Just in Bellow. It was the episode that we were kind of hoping for with the Croatone one back in two, season two. This is the one where the brothers are stuck in a police station with Agent Hendrickson and a few other cops while they're being surrounded by demons. Agent Hendrickson finally realizes that maybe the brothers were right all along and there's this really cool showdown and battle inside this cop station. They're blasting out windows, they're destroying walls, blasting demons and they use that great trick. It's a fantastic episode. It's one of the most action-packed. It's one of the most intense in the entire season. It also ends with a pretty cool bang in terms of you thought they won, but in the end, everyone that they tried to save, everyone that they fought to keep alive dies anyways. Such a great ending to that episode. Number four on the list is Bad Day at Black Rock. This is the funny episode of the season, and it has a lot of moments between Sam losing his shoe in the drain to Dean literally throwing a pen at a gun and saying I'm Batman. This episode has a lot of really really funny moments and it's all about a rabbit's foot. We also get a cool banter back and forth with Bella who I know that some people just did not like this character but I thought that she worked well with the brothers in this episode. I think that they have all great chemistry. I enjoyed all the moments with all three 
and the banter. The banter is just great because it, it's such a funny episode. You're laughing the whole way through and you're having a great time enjoying it and it still has that supernatural monster slash supernatural-esque sort of vestige that the show has always kept. Number three on the list is Holly Jolly Supernatural Merry Christmas. This was a great episode. It's so good. It is the most homey episode. It's the greatest episode of this season in terms of the brothers' development because we learn about their past. We learn about the challenges that these boys went through as kids, moving from town to town, constantly being on edge, knowing about things and other people don't know about at such a young and tender age. And the relationship and the brotherhood that the two boys develop as young kids and then grow into the adults that they are and this bond that has never broken between the two of them even though it's going to break quite a bit in the latter seasons i'm not talking about four and five you know what i'm talking about also the villains are fantastic i like these 1950s caricatures of husband and wife duo with the oh we've got to say fudge and all these other kind of really stereotype but very quirky moments it has some great humor it also has a pretty damn good scary part in it where the kid watches his parents being dragged down the stairs in the the sack by evil santa claus evil santa claus was super cool even if i kept on imagining he was goldberg from that santa horror movie number two might surprise you usually it's at the top of everyone's list but because it is something that has been done before i couldn't give it the number one spot but it's still a fantastic episode number two on the list is mystery spot this is the groundhog day episode of supernatural the episode where sam repeatedly watches dean die over and over and over it starts off as humorous sure it's a bit jarring to see it first but then after about the third or fourth time that dean has died we actually start to laugh at it but then we also start to see jared expressing the pain the insanity and the guilt that he has that he can't save his brother and this is probably i would say jared's best episode in terms of his acting in this whole season it's actually one of the best episodes in terms of his acting in the entire show because he has to show so much range we see him normal we see him desperate we see him confused we see him losing it and at the very end of the episode we see him at his utmost desperate we see him full of pity we see him wishing for his brother back despite everything that he's gone through he's still begging the trickster for his brother back which also by the way that's another great episode with the trickster in it he had a great episode of tall tales but the mystery spot episode is what really cemented the trickster as a villain slash anti-hero slash hero character that the entire fan base has come to know and love and now this leaves me with number one do you guys know what it is number one my number one favorite episode and what i feel to be the best episode of season three is time is on my side this episode has so many great supernatural moments the guy walking into the hospital with his guts falling out which by the way this guy's actually on one calls the heart i've worked with him before the whole concept of a doctor turning himself into his own frankenstein monster to keep alive for forever dean and sam going back and forth on the morality of doing such a thing to possibly keep dean alive and then the ending where they lock the doc in a coffin at the bottom of a deep grave knowing that he'll never die in this hole until his body falls apart i guess but still it's so chilling it's the darkest thing that i feel that supernatural has ever done maybe they did some darker stuff later on they probably did but honestly i still find that this is one of the most chilling things that the brothers ever did in the entire show the whole concept of the episode has always stuck with me it has some terrifying horror and some terrifying gore like when the runner guy has his heart ripped out and they keep cutting back to his heart rate monitor so so good it's one of the darkest episodes in the entire season it's one of the most chilling episodes of the entire show and it had a character and a villain that you still hated but related to and you even feel that maybe what he got was still a little dirty in terms of what they've done with previous monsters in the past it's the best episode of the entire season it had one of the most memorable moments as well as it is 
at this moment, the best preseason finale of the entire show. I don't know if anything's gonna beat it. Aside from season 11, and that's how far I'm reaching, Time Is On My Side is, in my opinion, the best preseason finale that the show ever had. But again, we're gonna be going into season four and into season five for me to confirm this. Those are my top five best episodes of Supernatural season three. Please give me your guys' thoughts. Give me your guys' suggestions of what you think of the top five best in the comments below and I'll make sure to read those off. That's all for me guys. I hope you have enjoyed the journey through season three as much as I have. We're now moving into season four, which is kind of a gray area for me. I've never really been one four, but I've never been against season four. Every time I think it's kind of like the, uh, it always surprises me. So let's see what happens when we start season four. So make sure to check that video out when it comes. It should be coming soon. Promise. Also on the other side, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I started reviewing the Harry Potter movies. So please check those out. This was a great little marathon that my wife and I just got to do. So I hope you guys check it out because it were really fun to watch. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. So that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.